I wrote the book and lyrics for A Little Princess. I'm Andrew Lippa. I wrote the music for A Little Princess. Part of the process at first was just experimenting, like, how do we write together? Do right. we write together? Right, right. And, and a, lot of that, a lot of that came from, uh, well, this takes a certain amount of trust in, in each other. And Brian and I had to be really open to that with each other because we'd never worked together before. And it turned out to be a really successful collaboration. We, 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 we keep trying to put a percentage on it, but it's probably like 75% maybe of the score was music first. Does that sound like I a good number? Maybe more. Maybe probably, more than that? Yeah. A lot of the joy that we had that uh, Andrew was talking about in writing these songs came from uh, improvising ourselves and just sort of surprising each other. And the way that we wrote with, uh, you know, starting with a musical section and then me going away and then bringing back something that was... You know, often Andrew would be like, oh my God, like, I don't remember writing I that. Didn't, I didn't. There'd be a song there. He'd almost. edit it all together, <laughs> uh, and I'd be like, I like that music, who wrote it? The idea of setting it in colonial West Africa opened up a whole possibility for drumming and call and response kind of music. And the emotional life of the show. It's when we, when we stop and focus on something deeply meaningful to the character. Something like Let Your Heart Be Your Compass, which is this child's um, uh, processing of what her father has taught her and how she teaches these other children how to follow their heart. For us, it was a joyful experience writing it because um, it just drew on what we love about theater. It's all about storytelling and, and what the efficacy of storytelling is. So, and it's it's drenched in this kind of making things up as you go along. That's what it's about on its deepest level for me. And I think the thing we learn as adults that Sarah learns in the play is that change and growth is equals pain. But Sarah is searching for change and, and believes so deeply in what her father says, you know, uh, camels in the snow, you know. Uh, Goodbye, my child. And there's some people more tuned into it, and I think that's Sarah's uh, great gift. It's yeah. like another world, but under one big sky. Somewhere Papa can see the sun that shines on me. And from another world, he